Hello everybody, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're gonna go over a bunch of newness. Some of my favorite lashes that I've ever worn or used in my 25 year career as a professional makeup artist that are mind-blowingly good. Some new Sicily, some that I am not really happy with honestly, and some that I absolutely love. And then a couple of other things sprinkled in of course to educate and have some fun with you all. All right, let's go ahead and jump right on in. So the first product I wanna go over with you guys is one that I am so in love with. And for those of you that watch me on my social media channels with TikTok and Instagram, you have seen me raving about these because they're so damn good. They are the Kiss Impress False Lashes. I'm wearing on this side four, bars too long too medium now how they come is like this here's the long here's the medium and then it comes with a tool to help you apply and press them together and set them now why i like them so much is that they're pre-bonded there's no glue needed they last for 24 hours and they don't damage your natural lashes you just pop them on close to your natural lash line underneath which makes it even look more natural because you can't see any band on top and then they set they are really easy to get on. I use my fingers, which you're going to see here in a minute. I'm going to show you guys on this side and I skip the tool, but some people like the tool just to kind of push your natural lash together with the faux lash. For those of you that are wondering, how do you get these off? I'm going to pull one of them off right now so that you can see. You just grab and lightly and slowly pull and they pop right off. But look at my natural lashes are absolutely fine. None of my real lashes came off. So let's go ahead and bring it in and apply. That easy. How incredible do these look? I was spending a lot on Lashify and I get that there's a market for Lashify if you want something that's going to stay on and feels a bit lighter. These you can feel, not irritatingly so, but they're heavier than Lashify. They're not going to last as long as a Lashify, but they're anywhere from 10 to $16, you guys, for a box of lashes that are self-adhesive. So to me, it's a total win. I love the way these look. I love how feathery the edges are. I cannot wait for you guys to try these on. You guys are going to absolutely love them. All right, let's get into some new Sicily products now. A new foundation is out. It's the Sicily Phytotint Perfection. Now, this is a mattifying, transfer-proof, high-coverage foundation. It's meant to improve the look of skin quality over time. I have not tried this on yet. I'm excited to see what it looks and feels like. I am combination dry in my 40s. I don't gravitate towards matte foundations. Now this is $125, so I'm expecting to be wowed. I'll tell you right now, when it comes to Sicily, I like a lot of their products. When they get it, they get it so right. They have the most buttery, soft formula and texture, but sometimes their products are overpriced. I feel like for what you get, I feel like you can spend $20, $30 less and go for like a Chanel product or a Dior product. Now I have a sublimage travel size serum all over my face. That's all I have on. So I do have some hydration. This color is 0N Dawn. Now this states it's supposed to hydrate smooth and it add like a luminous finish. And this is supposed to be a full coverage type of foundation. 
I always find it interesting when they say mattifying and hydrating at the same time. I get it. It's going to give you that demi matte finish without drying your skin. But I know for most people, even myself, I think matte and hydrating. Okay, interesting. Let's see how that works. Now, this is a dry sponge. I haven't dampened it because I just want it to be used to blend out the product, kind of set it into the skin. I'm going to blend this in with my fingers for the rest of the way because it's looking incredibly patchy. And I have a really good hydrating serum with the Chanel underneath, so it should not be this dry. I know it's matte, but it does say it has some hydrators in it. Now, seeing me here, it looks luminous, it looks bright, but I'm going to bring it in and you guys are going to see all my pores and a lot of texture because that is really what is happening here. So let's take a look. Look at this. My dark spots aren't really well covered for it being a full coverage foundation. Look at this side here. I mean, there's a lot of texture still coming through here. It reminds me a bit of a drugstore foundation. Yes, I said it. I personally would pass, and I don't even know who I would actually put this on, to be honest with you, because even if you have really good skin, it's still going to bring up some sort of texture because we all have pores or fine lines or dark spots or various types of expression lines on our face. So I would save your money and go for maybe these two instead. The Prada or the Louboutin. These are a matte and a demi matte type of finish. And these look fantastic. So, you know, anywhere from $40 to $50 cheaper than this. Now I want to add a little color before I get into the lipstick. So I'm going to add my favorite new product. I'm loving, loving, loving these. I already ordered more. I got the bronze and the rosy. If you guys haven't seen the video, it is in my description box down below. This is so beautiful. I use it on my lips, my cheeks, my eyes. I'm just in love. You just add a couple little dots. You blend it in, catches light beautifully. gives you a nice rosy flush with some light reflective pigments so that when you turn your head, you get this beautiful glow, which I need on top of this dry ass foundation. I mean, oh, it's so good. I wanna add a bit more, so I'm going to use a brush and lightly glaze the cheek now. Isn't that so pretty and just fresh? Love it. So let's go ahead and do our lip liner today. This is the color Sweet Coral. It is long wear. It helps the lipstick from bleeding. It's so creamy. Okay, I'm loving this color. Beautiful, fresh. It's got a perfect amount of like a rosy pink and the brightening of that peach in there. Spring, freshness, summer hotness. I'm here for this color. Let's try the new Fido Rouge Shine Lipstick. I got this in the color 13. So I'm gonna put this on top of this lip liner and then I'll take the lip liner and lipstick off and show you what it looks like on its own. This is meant to be the color of a lipstick, the shine of a gloss, and the comfort of a balm. Now these remind me a lot of the Chanel Rouge Coco Balm and Rouge Coco Flash, but these are better. I'm going to tell you guys why. They cling to the lips better. There's a little more color payoff, and I like the scent and the taste of these better. I find that they last longer on my lips, and I like the shimmery, glossy quality. It's just enough. The Chanel ones could be a bit over the top sometimes, where this is something that I feel like I can throw on and not have to worry about it moving around the edges of my lips like I have to sometimes with Chanel. Basically, this is just a really beautiful formula. And we put the Forever Glow Maximizer on, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this to the cheeks, just at the apple, just to bring this color story together. Now you can just stay out here and go right on top and create that lift, but if you want that volume and that youthful apple cheek, Go ahead and just add a nice swatch or two to that apple and blend it into the outer cheek area. See that nice sheen that we've got going here for the lipstick? Especially see it on this side. Let's go ahead and finish with my favorite concealer that used to be the one I liked the least, and that is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. It was just too dry for me. And then I worked for the company and I had somebody show me how to use this to create a beautiful, 
soft matte under eye brightening effect. Now the trick with this concealer is that you don't go in with your finger and pat it on. That's where I made the big mistake because I use my fingers a lot, not just on myself, but on my clients. But this type of concealer wants to be buffed. So that angled buffing brush, this one's by Sculpt. NARS has a great one and so does BK Beauty. You wanna grab a little bit with the clean handle of your brush or a Q-tip or a spatula, and you're gonna add that to the back of your hand and you're gonna warm it up with your fingers. It's really important to warm this product up and then you grab it with your brush. Just tap it on. From there, you're gonna press it into the skin. Now this is a bright concealer, but I have several others. One has a little more orange to neutralize the purple, blue, and green. I wanna show you guys just how bright you can get your under eye area. And I like to put this on first and then put my foundation on top. And then I'll go back on top of the foundation if I need a little more. But I find the layering effect of concealer, foundation, concealer works the best. You go and stamp right in that pocket. Can you see how much brighter my eyes are from this side to this side? Look at that. And look at how it's just setting on the skin but not into it. It doesn't look dry, cakey, or heavy, which is the goal. And for those of you that are wondering, can I use it if I'm over 50 and I have deeper set lines or, you know, crepiness or fine lines? Absolutely. You just want to make sure that you're using the brush because that helps push it into those grooves and into the skin. And then I'll go back in and do a little wiggle with my finger to further set the concealer. And I do that with all concealers just to give that little extra buffing technique. And once again, because our fingers have heat and oil, it definitely helps to soften those drier pigments. All right, from there. Redness around the nose. If you have a marionette line, don't work into a groove. Remember, work around it and outside of it. Between my eyes here. And I love to use concealer if it's in a brighter color than my skin as my highlighter. Look at the difference. This is why I love this concealer. And I'm so glad I gave it another chance. Look at how bright that looks compared to this side. Now make sure you put your favorite foundation right on top and you're good to go. When we hit the end of the video, I have so much newness coming in for you all. I have Westman Atelier. I have a bunch of products I got from French Pharmacy, my favorite French drugstore products, and so much more, so keep an eye out. But as always, if you guys like what you see here on my artistry education channel, it's so easy to support me as a content creator and as an educator, and that is to go ahead and subscribe. Use those affiliate links down below for anything I talked about today. If there's nothing that you want from this video today, I have a list of other stores below, and anytime you shop for anything at all and you open my link, I get a small commission and it helps me to continue to do this channel. And you can also head up to the top where you see a little heart and do a super thanks and just donate any amount you'd like. Next, head to TikTok or to Instagram where I show you sneak peeks of up and coming newness and do mini tutorials for you guys. And lastly, if you guys would like to head to shrevevoyage.com to book me for a one-on-one -on -one Zoom lesson, I have several different styles of lessons that you can choose from as well as my portfolio. And soon I will have some merch on there for some new things that I have up and coming for you all. All right, everyone, as always, thank you so much for watching. Continue to take care of yourself. Continue to look out for one another. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now, everybody.